Welcome back to Pouring Through Life. I am going to try to create a bloom on a puzzle. I found these at Hobby Lobby. They're little puzzle pieces. So I've taped the back to keep it a solid surface. I've got my colors picked out from a previous pour and I'm gonna see what I can make. Um, so the colors today are gonna be Wine and Roses by Color Art, Artist Loft, Hive Viscosity, Quinacridone Magenta, um, Pebeo Studios Iridescent Gold, Color Arts uh, Pink Azalea, uh, Color Arts Oyster, Interference Oyster, and then I have the Pebeo Studios Iridescent Green Blue, Color Art Irid or Interference Green, Color Art Guatemalan Green, and Interference Gold. So that's what we're going to start with. Um, this is really, really hard to pour, so I'm just going to use a spoon. It's going to take a little bit, but you need a huge amount of paint. This thing is super thin. I was thinking how I would resin this, but you take it apart. And then you resin it, yeah. would be my best guess. Um, I'm going to do the interference pull down. This is the Quinacridone Magenta. Interference Oyster. Pebeo's Iridescent Green Blue. Interference Green. This is the pink azalea. A little dab of the wine and roses again. And then on top, it's going to be the dragonfly glaze. Blue green shift. It's a really lovely, sparkly cool color. No, it's not color, it's clear, but you know what I mean. So I have this kind of angled. So I'm going to direct the air to flow to the right. So 
gonna boil high first, try to get the black to move, over, to, to move around, and then I'm gonna air it in. center will help those cells and lacing to connect in the center. Gosh, that's so pretty. Oh my land, I love it. That teal color with the wine and roses is amazing. It is such a cool, beautiful color. take a few little spoonfuls of the paint and give a little bit more of a pillow on the outside just to help it out a little bit completely wasteful yes but if you want your design to stay and look good it really makes a huge difference it's even more important is to make sure that you don't break apart your pattern that you're creating didn't want that paint to roll back on it. Okay, so I want to distribute the weight to come this direction. Super excited to see if this is gonna work. Figure out what I'm gonna put it on while it dries so it doesn't warp. Awesome. Oh, I am so sorry. I am right. Oh, I love it. 
Okay, I might do a whole series on this color palette. Let me move this around so it's not upside down. Wow. What do we think? Love it, love it, love it. Amazing. Absolutely awesome sauce. It actually looks like a flower. Alright, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Post a comment. Is there a color scheme you guys would like to see? Is there a style that I haven't done that you'd like to see and learn more about? I'm open to suggestions. I love hearing comments. I love reading your comments. And thanks again for watching. And I appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.